Thank you for coming back to Bali Today. So my guest, Rahana, who is the director of last year's production of Midsummer Night's Dream. Now, what was your venue for that again? Um, we, we played it at the Arma, right. the Agung Rai Museum of Art in Thank Ubud. You. Thank you. And I, I, I went to see the show. First of all, I heard from a lot of people living in Bali. They were so, so happy to be able to see Shakespeare in Bali and to take their kids because you know that's a big challenge for us mm -hmm. the things we feel our kids aren't getting so please how did you come to had you done that particular Shakespeare before as a director I directed it with children before oh, <laughs> oh a small challenge <laughs> yes I directed it with children in, in, in the Bay Area, in San Francisco. Okay. I played it at Lake Tahoe. Oh, um, wow. For the Summer Shakespeare Festival. I played but you're not American. No, I'm not. No. no. Okay. I'm South African. I'm from Cape Town. Oh. Yeah. So you traveled a lot? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that show came to me on the back of a motorcycle. Somebody passed me a helmet, and I took it and put it on my head and said, he said helmet, and I said, helmet by Moonlight Proud Titania, and then suddenly it just flooded. I saw fairies everywhere and people reciting Shakespeare in the rice fields and <laughs> kind of took off. <laughs> That's so cool, maybe. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. Well, what I was really impressed about, it was a totally unique version. There's, you know, there was um, this integration of dance, Bahasa Bali, Bahasa Indonesia, Bahasa English. You brought Am I right? I mean, I only saw it. You created it. So you, what elements did you put together? It was wonderful to have it flow together like that. We used, we opened with a Javanese wedding song for Titania and Oberon's wedding. And then we went from the classical Javanese wedding song to um, a breakbeat Balinese thing that brought Katut Rina in onto the stage. So we were playing with like genres, different times, breaking up. Javanese traditional music to make contemporary DJ music and it was a lot of fun. Well, I was really impressed, I must say. For those of you that didn't see this, I'm so sorry, but it was so exciting. Um, generally, that piece of theater starts with a dialogue scene between the king of the fairies and the queen of the fairies. Mm -hmm. And what you generally get to understand is that they have a uh, long-term marriage which has ended up in sort of a love-hate relationship and a lot of competitiveness. But Rahana, in your show, that was all completely done in dance. Hmm. We worked with Jane Chen's Pancha Silat moves because um, the character she played is a, is a warrior queen and the king kind of like, he wins her in battle, he kind of like bests her on the battlefield, overpowers her and then takes her as a wife, which is not a not congenial to good marital relationships. Sounds fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done that style of marriage yet. I might try that one. The battlefield? No, fine. <laughs> but you know, what I loved about it was that um, immediately, within the first minute that the, the lights went up, it is multicultural. Mm -hmm. Because it didn't matter what your language was, you were into that story. Mm. You, you, you didn't alienate anyone, you actually incorporated everyone. Mm. Which is fantastic. Yeah, it, so it, it was good. Amazing. Yeah. So, um, you had a great cast. We had, in the first five minutes, after the first five minutes, Ruchina Ballinger arrived with her long hair on the back of a motorcycle, looking like a Balinese biker mama, speaking in Balinese. And it was it was good. The yeah. laughter, you know, when the first words spoken were Balinese, it was so exciting because so many people in this audience started laughing. I didn't get it, but that's okay. And there was Bahasa Bali, and then there was some Indonesian, and then soon they were on to English, something from everyone. Yeah. Absolutely. And um, the staging, you know, um, the production actually took place in so many locations that wherever you were seated in the audience, at some point in that show, it was right in front of you. It was mm. amazing. Yes. Great it's, idea. It, I think it was a response to how visually beautiful Bali is everywhere. Everywhere looks like a stage set. You know, even if it's kind of like urban encroaching on something traditional or meeting of past and present, there's, there's always something visually exciting as a backdrop. Um, I saw that especially when you did the 
Tatiana, is it? Tatiana. So that one, yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank Tatiana. you. Tatiana. Uh, that one. She's asleep. That's a very famous scene. Mm -hmm. And you use the adorable little girls in the costumes around her. And it was remarkable because it just looked like one of those pre-Raphaelite paintings in gauze and lime green and the Balinese green landscape. And it was just stunning. I can never forget. Unforgettable. That's mm. the best thing to say that about was, your work. That was a very challenging, challenging scene because there were ants in the grass. <laughs> and we, I didn't think about that. We had to find the environmentally friendly ant cream <laughs> and cover them in lavender. Wait, cover the ants or cover the people? We covered the, the ants in the environmentally friendly ant cream and then oh, we covered the people friendly. in the lavender. And yeah, but it worked out in the end. <laughs> All right, so now this year, 2010, mm -hmm. the festival is on again, and you've got something completely new for us. Yes, what we do. This one, this one is, a, is, is a bit, the focus is a little bit broader. It's called Conference of the Birds. It's based on a 12th century Sufi epic poem by a man called Fariduddin Attar. He was an inspiration to Rumi, so he was a forerunner of Rumi. Now, I'm going to pull the plebeian card for a moment. Mm -hmm. Please, just for the children at home watching, Sufi, remind me, where are the Sufis from? The Sufis ranged from, uh, I should say, Persia, across Central Asia, all the way to India, into North Africa and Indonesia. The first Muslims that came to Indonesia were Sufis. Thank you. Okay. And Sufism is considered the inner heart of Islam. Thank you. Keep going. It's so intelligent and educational. <laughs> well, um, so this man inspired Rumi, who's the most popular poet in the United States today. So the, your, your piece of theater, from what century? From the 12th century. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. okay. 1177, to be exact. It was written by a perfumer. Fariduddin Atta was an apothecary. Yes. Um, he made perfume, he did aromatherapy, and his name Attar means scent. So um, the play is supposed to be alchemical or distilling the perfume of the soul. Ooh. <laughs> perfume of the soul. That makes me think of a lot of things. <laughs> and he wrote this wonderful story about a group of birds who go in search for the king of the birds and they eventually find when they get there that the king of the birds is actually themselves and each one of them so that each one of them is the divine and together they are the divine oh i love that yeah we we like it <laughs> we're enjoying this production More what, how big is your cast our cast is seven people oh okay seven people all from Ubud? All from, the, the one or two from Seminyak, but mm -hmm. all people that are based in, in Bali. Their age ranges from 14, the oldest member of the cast is 64. Um, there are two Sufi women in our cast, one from, originally from San Diego, the other originally from Aceh. So it's quite a diverse and inspiring group of people. Percentage in English? A uh, lot of it is in English. Thanks. Percentage in other languages? Um, a, a much smaller percentage than the last show. But there's also a lot of dance and a lot of sacred music, Ooh. live sacred music from, from, from Northern Africa through Central Asia to India. So well, uh, earlier this week, um, we filmed Rahana and her cast rehearsing. So we're going to take a little break, and when we come back, we'll take you to see Rahana and her cast for the council. Um, Conference. Conference of the Birds. Conference okay, of the Birds at the Ubud Writers Festival from the 6th to the 10th at the Maya. Oh, so now. You're on now. Yes, right. we are. Okay. It's our second night. Ooh. <laughs> I'm getting all drooly. I want to mm -hmm. go. I want to go. I think I will go tonight, actually. <laughs> um, we're going to go. take a little break. We're going to come back. We're going to talk to Rahana and her cast in the council. The conference. I do this. The conference of the birds. So, see you in a minute.